It is an update that many people feared when a Fort Valley State student was found dead. An autopsy now showing that a Nitra gun was killed. Jennifer Bellamy has been looking through the details of that report. Jennifer, it was just released this afternoon. Yeah, the Peach County Sheriff's Office says gun's death has been ruled a homicide. And although right now we don't know much more than that, a cause of death is going to be released after the GBI receives the toxicology uh, test results. The agency says a number of items of evidence are being reviewed and processed right now by their crime lab. Now, gun's body was found in a wooded area on Tuesday. The sheriff says it was partially covered as if someone had tried to hide it. Her car was also recovered, but the bumper has not been found. According to the GBI, right now, Gunn's boyfriend, Demarcus Little, is the only person of interest. He's been charged with vandalizing her car and apartment, but has not been charged with her murder. Tonight, one of Gunn's loved ones is sharing the last interaction she had with the 23-year-old. Texts between Jennifer Wright Robinson and Gunn show they had a kind of mother-daughter relationship. Gunn texts Robinson because she missed her and asked when Robinson was going to come and stay the weekend with her. Robinson responds saying she's moving, but once she gets settled, she'll be there. They promise to call each other later and at the very bottom of the message thread on Valentine's Day, Robinson sends a call me message in all caps. The text show gun is someone who checked in with her loved ones simply because she missed them. Robinson posted that she keeps reading those messages over and over. Gunn's father says information about her services and where people can make donations will be announced at a later date. All right, Jennifer, thank you.